Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading, which is going to be focused on new love. For those individuals that are interested in knowing if there's someone new coming into your life, then this reading is going to be wonderful, okay? Now, I did pull out two oracle cards, one reflecting your energy and one reflecting the new individual's energy, okay? So, for some of you, you may not have met this person yet. For others, you may have, okay? So, when it comes to your energy, it's talking about the importance of physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much. So, I feel like you're yearning to be held, you're yearning to be loved, you're looking for that sort of human connection. And I'm definitely picking up that it's very important for you right now. When it comes to the new individual that's coming into your life, the cards are calling upon this individual to be supportive of you and to show genuine effort towards you. So if you are a cross watcher interested in a Virgo, it's definitely indicating to be there for your Virgo individual, right? Now, let's begin your reading. I'm seeing that from the energies of the cards, right? There is definitely someone on the horizon for you, but I feel like this individual is the type of individual that is very high strung. They go after what they want, and this person is someone that is very motivated. I'm picking up that they are potentially a very hard worker, someone that has a very strong work ethic, and they could be entrepreneurial in their nature. I'm also picking up that they like to make things happen. If they want something, they go after it. They're not afraid of it. But I also feel like this individual is, you know, very charming and very exciting in terms of their nature. I feel like uh, this is the type of individual that could definitely charm you in many, many ways and, you know, add a lot of excitement to your world. Now, the card that I'm seeing in the past is that you may have been communicating to this person at some point, or there might have been some sort of romance there. So, I'm noticing that the two of you might have been getting to know one another. That could be very exciting. I feel like, you know, there might have been flirtation, there might have been excitement, there might have been things that the two of you were just chatting about, okay? Now, the card that is really standing out for me is one that is indicating loneliness and sadness. So, someone has been feeling very lonely and uh, feeling a great deal of sadness in this situation. I am picking up that it hasn't been easy for this person. I also feel like this is connected to you as well. You know, you might have been feeling neglected. You might have been feeling like you need and want the company of other individuals, especially during this period of time. I'm sensing that the cards are indicating you yeah, that in this situation, right, you're looking for someone to provide companionship with. I feel like you're also looking for someone to you know, take out and go on romantic dates and have fun and socialize with, you know, you want somebody to be by your side. And that's something that's very wonderful. I feel like in this situation, right, you have struggled to have success when it comes to love for some time. And I'm picking up that energy, right? And uh, the cards are indicating that you need to be patient because things are going to be turning around in your love life. Not everything that is happening right now is an indication of where you're heading in. So if you're feeling like absolutely dreadful or you're feeling like, you know, you're going to be alone forever, that's not the case. Because I do feel like for some of you, you know, a wish is potentially going to come true. It could also be that, you know, you know, you might find yourself wishing upon a shooting star and that might come true. I feel like... You know, the energies are indicating that it's very favorable for you to find love in a very unexpected sort of way. It's going to be a little bit majestic, I feel like. There's going to be some sort of excitement connected to it. And, um, you know, I feel like when you're down on your knees, that's when life really picks you up. It's when you're almost there to, you know, ready to give up. That's when the hope comes and it comes out of nowhere. So that's what I'm picking up from these cards. Now, I feel like the individual you're dealing with is absolutely charming 
they are very secure in their identity. I feel like they know that they are, you know, either good looking or, you know, that they bring a lot to a situation and they know their self-worth. I feel like in this situation as well, the cards are indicating that there's going to be some massive shakeups when it comes to your love life and these things are really going to rock your world. Ultimately, I feel like, you know, this is all about surrendering to love and giving into it and having it come to you when you don't really expect it. And uh, for some of you, you know, this might be somebody that you may have met before, but just didn't hit it off at some point. Maybe the two of you had a liking for each other. Maybe there was a connection there. This I don't feel like this energy is just limited to, you know, new energies because I am picking up your this very comfortable sort of energy where you might recognize who I'm talking about, okay, and this might be a past person, this might be somebody that you've had a connection with, and you know, you just feel so comfortable in their presence, you just feel like, you know, the energy and your energy just, you know, it works so well together. So let's clarify the cards. I'm seeing here yeah, that this is, you know, this is a strong connection, but I also feel like for some time, someone was a little bit protective over themselves and a little bit afraid of uh, giving in to the connection. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up that love was being blocked because one individual was trying to protect themselves from pain, trying to protect themselves from getting hurt potentially as well. And that's why there was a struggle here. But I feel like there's some sort of journey being taken inwards by the individual you're dealing with. They're definitely getting closer towards their own internal rhythm of what they feel in terms of their heart. Sometimes people have difficulties in connecting to their emotions. And I feel like this individual wants to be more in touch with their emotions during this period of time. It could be due to the Mercury retrograde. It could be due to the fact that, you know, things that they've been running from for a long time, they can no longer run from those things they have to face it they have to go forward and uh, you know this is really a time that uh, you know they are going to be tested in terms of their emotions it feels as if the planets are aligning in a way in which it's forcing them to take a closer look at their emotions right I see that the difficulty you're having right now is either communication or something linked to, you know, the two of you unable to talk. I feel for some time someone was cold, a little bit distant, and, uh, you know, this person could be someone that is very focused on their career, very focused on, you know, what they need to do in their life in order to not just survive, but to thrive. And I feel like this individual is uh, very motivated by, you know, improving their life condition and moving forward in their, you know, in their life and their journey. I see that they are looking for happiness. They are looking for something solid, something stable. They are looking for, you know, a celebration of love. That's what I'm feeling from this card. The next card is talking about the importance of communication and talking to one another. I feel like someone is very connected to a deeper understanding of energy and uh, life in general. And I feel like someone could have, you know, a deeper knowledge of how the world works. There is that potential here. The cards are indicating that if someone left, there's a potential that they're going to come back. Okay. So there's been a lot of messages that have come out for you guys and I feel like it's very positive in general. But I'm seeing that this individual was having a hard time communicating to you and that they've been receiving these impulses and it could be psychic in nature where they've been called to reach out to you, contact you, to speak to you. And it could be, you know, your guardian angels calling upon this individual to make an attempt. But I do feel like they're feeling compelled to do so. And, uh, you know, for some of you, you might get a, com you know, a phone call very unexpectedly or you might get some sort of uh, message from this individual. I feel like they've been feeling a sense of uh, loneliness and not knowing what to do about it. There's definitely that indication. So success is on the horizon when it comes to your love life. For some of you, this is, you know, someone new coming into your life. 
for others, this could be someone from the past coming back. And, uh, you know, whether it was unresolved feelings, unresolved emotions, things that they haven't yet dealt with, there's a potential of being able to turn things around. And that's actually a very beautiful message because I feel like it's time now, you know, for the two of you to have physical intimacy and to support one another on this journey because having a connection with, um, you know, a specific individual, it just doesn't happen all the time, you know, it's every now and then and for some individual it's a once in a lifetime situation. So I hope you guys enjoyed your bonus tarot card reading and if you like a personal one you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care Virgo.